This is Ray's spin magnetic spin generator number two. I'll show you the setup here. I have a coil. It's 2.2 ohm. And it's about an inch in thickness. And the size of the hole in the center is around two. I have a neo magnet. <laughs> they are powerful, and it's up to your responsibility uh, if you be work on any designs like this. They're they're, they're tricky to work with. Uh, this is the type that has instead of north and south, it's actually divided. You have a north and a south. It's magnetized diagonally. This is a stainless steel bolt. Has a lot of drag on it, but it's been working for this prototype. I have 24 LEDs. They're hooked up to my coil and my signal generator. I'm driving the coil with about 10 cycles per second. And this is my watt meter, about 22.5, 0 .3, 0 .4, 0 .5, somewhere in there, 22.4 watts. That's for the signal generator. Also, I'm hooked up Everything's in parallel, hooked up to my oscilloscope. Right now, the coil is being fed from the signal generator and also at the same time to my LEDs. Now, that should not change. That's a standard hookup and you should not be able to get any more power out of that. You have a set power coming into it where my watt meter. So in the other video number one you can kind of see the principle behind it. So I'm going to set it down to four cycles per second. Seems like it starts off pretty pretty well around four cycles per second have my bolt there. It's a very simple setup. Uh, it's able to duplicate this. It's a pretty easy setup. And you'll notice as it spins, the LEDs are flashing. The we had it on a one volt per division, so I'm, I was feeding in about one volt square square sign. And you'll notice, first we'll look at the power. We're down to 22, it actually dropped. Let's see what happens as we speed up the cycles per second. There's six, seven, there's eight. I got about nine or ten. And you can see some odd things. We have actually added more power into the circuit just by having a spinning neo magnet in the coil. Actually, if you look at it, we're drawing what? 21.6. So we've dropped power. That was a fixed uh, voltage there, but it has dropped because we're now generating our own little magnetic generator here, so it's not drawing as much. So the power is less, but yet we're getting more voltage to the LEDs. You see the voltage has risen. I'll go ahead and just lift it a little bit. 
you can kind of see how everything is working there. If there's no magnetic spin, then everything goes back to normal. But we have that spinning magnet in there. That's producing a generator of its own. Therefore, it's it shouldn't do that, <laughs> from what I understand. But anyhow, it's doing it. It's kind of like a motor generator all at the same time. We'll go down in cycles per second. Kind of see how that's working again. Down eight, seven, six, five, four. Okay, we get down to zero and see what's being fed in there. <laughs> it's about a, about a, a volt, about one division. Okay, then we're back up to 22, 21, 22. We want to flash up there. If we completely disconnect it, it would probably go down. Let's see. 22, 21, 9. Okay. Put her in again. The ease of the construction should allow you to uh, make your own without too much problems. And this is something that should be looked into a little bit more. You can see things starting to take effect. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And yet, we're drawing less power, but we're getting more power out. So you can kind of decide yourself what's going on here. These other designs, this is just a prototype. Thank you so much for watching.